So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen uh, one coding exercise life in weeks uh, and we have discussed what are f-string and based on that we have seen that exercise, right? So now in this video we will talk about if statement and if else statement in Python. These are known as conditional statements or control statements also or we can say decision making statements. Simple if, uh, if else, nested if else, l if, else if later, these are decision making statements, right, or conditional statements. So one by one we will be discussing these statements and this video will talk about if and if else with the help of real life example as well as with the help of program, the syntax, when we should use if else, when we, sh we should use, use if statement, all the things we will be discussing in this video, right. Now before that I just want to tell you one thing, see the journey towards becoming a PSU officer or pursuing MTech from IIT or other elite institute is going to be long and challenging. So for you to stay focused on your path, here are some confidence bo booster initiative by an academy. An academy is going to start Udan batch for GATE 2024 aspirant and Bunyad batch for 2025 aspirants. So here an academy's top educators will be teaching you in these batches and these batches will be in English language, both Hindi and English. But if you want to attend lectures in complete English language, then for you also they have started batches Ignite 2.0 for GATE 2024 aspirant and foundation for GATE 2025 aspirants. In these batches you will get comprehensive syllabus coverage, uh, PSU exam preparation, interview preparation, previous year questions plus uh, daily practice question and uh, digital books, home delivered printed books, practice question of uh, you know practice of test series and much more. And one more thing on this Republic Day an academy is also you know providing you some offers. If you take plus or iconic subscription of GATE and ESE, you can save up to 30%. Yes, you can see on my screen here the price detail, but this offer is valid till 28th of January. And remember one thing, there will be price hike soon for this subscription. So do not wait and subscribe today and start your GATE and ESE preparation. And to avail these discounts, use my code JKL10. So all the relevant links and details you will get in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Now let's see what are what are the, this if else and if statement in Python. See, let's take one real life example. Whenever you go to generally you travel in metro, so there is a board like if your child height is less than three feet, then no token required, right? You don't need to purchase any token or ticket anything, right? But if height is more than three feet, three feet, then you have to purchase token. So there is some condition, right? In a real life also, every day we are facing these type of conditions and based on some condition, we take decisions, right? Like if you go to supermarket and uh, your mom say, please bring some, uh, you can say buy some apple. Maybe you will ask if apples are not available, then what should I buy? Then maybe oranges. And if oranges are not available, then maybe dragon fruit. So there also you have to decide like maybe you are a coffee lover or but based on your pocket money you will have coffee maybe in Starbucks or at some store. Now that that decision is based on your pocket money right how much money you have. So in real life also we are taking multiple you know many decisions every day. So when we write program then also obviously we will maybe we are working on a project we will create some product and all so to map these decision making these things in programming how you can write down these things so for those we have conditional statements using if else using elif using you know multiple if else nested if else else if ladder we can map these decisions we can write down these decisions in our programming in program in the form of programs right so that is why these are known as conditional statements or you can say decision making statements fine now that that let's take that that example that uh, height height of your child so if i like if i draw a flow chart then obviously start and here we have a condition height height is greater than three fit I am taking height I am taking in fit two condition can be there yes your child height is greater than three or not or no if yes height is greater than three fit then token required to board metro if no 
then no token required. So, this is how we can like we can uh, you know draw a flow chart kind of thing right this is the case. So, to map this thing in program what we will write if else because here we have two choices yes or no. So, if or else if apples are there in supermarket buy apples buy apples otherwise buy oranges two choices you have right. If there is only one choice maybe your mom say if apples are available then buy apples otherwise nothing back to your home come back. So, that, that we can write with simple if no else required but here we have two choices. So, if and else right now what is the general syntax of writing if simple we will write if and here some condition then colon then the block of statement that should be executed if this condition is true that would be here. We can write down like do this else colon do this right. See let me just tell you one thing one thing is very 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 important when you write if else in python or when you write programming in python that is indentation because Python basically use indentation to identify a block. What is this indentation? Like if you write this statement then after some space this space before you know in the beginning of this line this is known as indentation right. So, if we write condition condition you can write down in these brackets also or if you do not put these brackets that is also fine in Python right both the cases are true. But this space this indentation is must directly you cannot write down from here do this that will give you error I will show you with the help of program right what type of error you will get after else also you have to do some indentation and here if we are writing multiple statement like three statements. So, all the three statements should be intended leave some space here and then write down these statements right. So, those statements would be considered as block of statement after if right. So, this is general syntax of writing if. Now, let me just show you uh, this thing with the help of one program and practically we will see this thing. So, here obviously this condition should be evaluated and should return either true or false based on true or, true or false this this the control will go either in this block or in this block right. So, like height greater than 3. So, we will enter height like height is 4, 4 is greater than 3 or not yes. So, that will give you that will give true. So, true means token required yes means this way will go right. So, here we are using these relational operators or we can say comparison operators we have discussed this thing like less than equal to greater than equal to or like less than greater than or uh, double equal to like for equality check we use double equal to or not equal to these are some relational operators or comparison operators we can use while checking some condition while giving here some condition right. Now, let us see with the help of one program and if you want to draw general flow chart for this if else then simply here we rather than height greater than 3 we simply write like condition here condition condition true or false two cases can be there right not yes or no true true means here we can write if block statement if block statement would be executed here else block statement would be executed and after that obviously program will you know after whatever statements after those if else block that would be executed right right that would be executed statement out of if else block that would be executed right. So, this you can say general flowchart of if else right. So, let us create a new file and we will be discussing if else right. So, if underscore else dot py right let us take height. So, directly when we are taking uh, using input function we can convert that into integer because we know enter height whatever you will take using input function that would be string. So, convert that into int right now let us check what is the condition if height your child height child sighted 
is uh, greater than 3 feet. Let me just uh, write down this thing. Enter height in feet. Right? So, if height greater than 3 feet. Right? Colon. See. As you can see. Whenever the cursor is here and whenever y, I will enter, I will press enter. See automatically the cursor is here. There are some space in the beginning of this line. So that is what indentation that is very important. Then print what we should print height is greater than 3 then token required or we can say by token right enter now else we will write here no indentation before else colon and print no token required right okay let's run this and i'll show you first of all see it is asking enter height and feet i am entering four so by token because height is 4 greater than 3 this condition is true so control will enter here and by token right if i again run this and i enter 2 then no token required because condition is not true in this case so control will go in else part and no token required so this is simple working of if else statement now let me just show you something if you do not uh, now put here that indentation or the white space then see you can see this red line here and let's run this see this there is something wrong here because this this is some arrow there is something wrong here so it will give you clue and error is indentation error the error name is this is indentation error expected and indented block after if statement on line number three so after if there should be some indentation that is indentation block. So, that should be indented. And if I write one more statement like print by token, uh, token and uh, now you can board the metro, right? So, see these both these statements are intended, right? So, this would be considered as a complete block, block of statement after if. So, now if I run this and if I enter height like uh, 5, so by token and now you can board the metal. These two print statement would be executed because this is now block of statements after if, right. But after this, if I do not put any indented indentation, it will give error. Let's run this. See, syntax error. This is syntax error. Something here in else part. Because between if and else, this print statement would not be considered now as a part of this if block, right? But if you are using if else, between if and else, there should be nothing, right? And you are writing this statement. So, this is wrong. Better you put this in this block, right? So, I hope you got this thing how to use if else now if simple if rather than else we have only one choice simple if right no else part let's suppose remove this else part comment this out and if height is greater than 3 then by token and this thing that is only case no else part let's run this Greater than 3 means 6. So, by token now you can board the metro. And if this is less than 3, like 2, nothing would be printed because there is no else part. But, but if I write one more line, something like this. Print out of if block. This statement is out of if block because there is no indentation here. Let's run this. And height is, now I am entering 2. So, now it will print out of if block, this print statement only. Because these two print statement would be considered as part of this if, because these are intended. This is not intended. So, this is out of if. 
if I do not put any indentation here. So now this only would be part of this if block. These two are not part of if block. Let's run this. And if I enter 6, so height is greater than 6 is greater, greater than 3. So only one line would be printed by token. That's it. Right. Sorry, by token. And now there is no else part. So these two statements are part of program only. So obviously after if those statements would be executed that are part of program, normal execution of program would be there. So these three statements would be executed. Right. And if I run this and if I enter like height is 2, now only 2 statement would be executed. Now you can board the metro and out of if block, these two only. Because now this print by token is part of this if block, right. And if you do not put like these, uh, sorry, the, the, these brackets, that is also fine. Because I am actually from C and C++ background, so that is why I used to put these brackets. Let's run this, there would be no error right height is 3 if I enter height 3 because 3 less than 3 no condition is not true so now no if block these two statement would be would be executed right let's do this thing and let's comment this out and if you want to put that condition also like if your child height is greater than or equal to 3 then you have to buy token less than 3 then no need to buy so less than equal to greater than equal to these sign you can put or if double equal to you want to check equality then double equal to also we can check but for equality you have to use double equal to not single equal to that is not that would be there would be some, some error like if I put only one, one equal to I want to check equality if height is equal to 3 but I only put one equal to so th there would be some error let, let me just run this and see it is showing here are some error if it is equal to three syntax error invalid syntax maybe you meant double equal to for this instead of this so it is giving you some clue also you can read out these error and you can check where is the error so here it should must be some error so maybe it's not not equal to or double double equal to it should be double equal to now it is there would be no error right if i enter height 4 then no token required because condition is not true height is not equal to 3 right so i hope now you got basics of if and if else statements and how to use them and what is the indentation and how this indentation is important if before this height before writing this if we put space see here also in python it will give error you cannot put any space before beginning of any line you can put space after you know uh, at starting of those statement which are part of if block or else block right till now we have discussed till now if else only or if so see it will give error indentation error unexpected intent here height this this is the first line on unexpected intent so do not put any space here right so i hope you got what is if and what as if else how to use them when to use them and how to write down this thing in your program so in the, in the next video we'll see one coding exercise based on these if else statements so now we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care